interesting. Something is definitely coming to an end. Here with the death card in your present, it's a significant ending for some of you. And I, I don't want to say it, but with this tower card here too, I, um, I almost think that uh, you may have recently... lost someone on the most literal level. Someone has passed away. Um, <clears throat> here we have the transformation, though, in the current day. So uh, there is something developing around Virgo. It's very much a transformative ending. It's the kind of ending that changes your life. Um, okay, let's take a look, though, at each position. Uh, with these two significators of the Three of Pentacles, for me, if you are going through a period of loss within the family or even within business, if there is a loss within your business associations, the changes that come are of a transformative nature. They're life-changing. Um, now, with the Ten of Swords, it is what's crossing you, and it is the end of something. Uh, the end of pain. If someone is in your life has been ill, and I don't, like, I hate these readings when they come like this. But if you've been dealing with someone who's ill and you know, you know to expect this person's passing, they would have been ill for quite some time. You would know if this person was getting ready to enter a different spiritual plateau. Uh, that may be happening here. We have a certain ending. No, this isn't the kind of ending that uh, <clears throat> uh, you think it's going to come, but no, 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 something steps in and interferes and everything is better. This is a absolute certain ending, but we know that with that certain ending also comes the certain beginning. Uh, with the swords, a lot of it is communication. A lot of it is mental energy, the way you think about things, your mental outlook, um, how strong even you are mentally. Um, and for some of you, maybe it's been an uneasy, a mentally uneasy time. Maybe you've been dealing in some way with some sort of depression or some sadness over either someone's departure or the pending departure of someone that you know. Uh, first, in the past, we have a happy home. But this would be actually the foundation. If the foundation is a home that has laughter and good times, celebrations, it feels for some of you there really is a reason to celebrate here. Uh, it's something that you're holding on to during a tough period for some of you. But you're holding on to that positive, happy feeling that maybe your family associations gives you. It could be the strength that you hold in order to get through your day to day. In the present with the Ace of Wands, we have in the past the light, the hope of a new beginning. Uh, but coming up into the present, uh, there is a releasing of some of that hope, I think, for someone. Um, there is a recognition. Oh, 
Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that part of this card of recognition is someone needing to acknowledge. Acknowledge a passing that is eminent for someone. You know this person is reaching their last uh, level before they exit. And that's only for some very small, small percentage of you. Uh, otherwise, it could be uh, the end of a business uh, for some of you during this time. It could very well be that you started on a career path or you took a, a certain job that you really thought was the accomplishment. It felt like a great accomplishment. Uh, but it, maybe at this period, suddenly somebody starts handing out pink slips and telling you to turn in the keys to the bathroom. Um, there's something going on. Now, for some of you, this something going on, whether it's transforming in your work life or your personal life, we do have the new beginning here. The new beginning is here in the fool, though. It, it feels new. It feels unknown. It feels sometimes strange because it's like a virgin-like feeling. It's innocent. It's surprisingly, I feel a very energetic gaiety, um, a almost a joy that comes with this new beginning. Now, I am going to say that for someone, it feels very much to me. If you've got someone who you know is passing away, if you know that this person has come to the end of this, there's a release. There's a release. There's a, a, a sense of relief that comes from this person's exit. It brings a sense of unknown. It brings a sense of uh, sadness, yet there's an overwhelming joy for the spirit. Tells me this person probably suffered a very long time, but the end for them was merciful. This is a certain message for someone. Uh, briefly, I need to say this. Uh, this was a exit that they knew it was time to take. And for them, they were prepared. They have some of them. If you're, if some of you know that this person has been prepared for a while. In fact, they feel to me like they were very grateful for the time that they actually had, because the time that they actually had was more than they were originally given. So there is a sense that even though this person is approaching departure or already has, they were comfortable with the leaving, with the, de with the departure. Now, for those of you who are going through a financial departure, uh, wow, it feels like even though you may not have seen this ending coming, uh, wow, the end is here and it feels uh, incredible. It feels freeing. It almost feels liberating. As if this company you worked for for the past 10 years is closing doors. But what you find out is following is so much better. Because I think for some of you, you're remaining within the company. 
You're given a brand new position, something they've never tried before. But it brings this real sense of uh, change, change. There's artistic passion with it. There is a comfort in knowing that there is a future in this new position that it almost feels like maybe for a very small number of you, it feels like this position was actually created for you by someone who knew that this was something you could really handle. Now, in the position of yourself, we've got the hermit. Now, the hermit, he reflects, he studies, he grows, but he very much spends his time in privacy. He's very much about being alone. Now, you yourself, whoever this is, you've got things going on in your life. Gosh darn it. A whole lot of things going on in your life. Someone may be passing away. You may be dealing with a relative who is, <clears throat> pardon me, who is ill, who needs you 24 hours a day along with a job that may feel like it's crumbling on top of it. So there is an urgency to me for this new start, this new beginning to happen. So with the passing away of the old, whether it's a relationship, whether it's an actual person who has actually been giving, given the blessing of time in the past, you will recognize it. This person has been given a gift and now they know that it's time to cash in the chips and call it a spiritual day. And they're about ready to take that next step. The hermit, as far as you go, you need to pamper. You need to take yourself into consideration. If you're the caregiver, you need to take care of yourself. If you're caring in an ailing business, you still need to pamper and care for yourself. Because right here we know we have something in your environment that's upsetting, that's coming to an end. And sometimes these endings are rough. They can be abusive sometimes, or they can feel like everything around you is crumbling. But the foundation remains good with this card. You can rebuild once the tower crumbles around you. So for whatever you may be going through here, Virgo, at this time, you have this, the other ending. One ending has been slow. And that's why I think if you've been with a company for a long time and all of a sudden their light fizzes out, their light gets blown out. And the ending is shown. It's a brand new beginning that's much better for you. Again, if this is someone who you know the end is coming, it may still feel emotionally tumultuous. You may still sit and cry for days because you've lost someone very special. But the ground, when you're ready to heal, the ground will be stable enough to, for you to experience Experience, pardon my mouth, for you to experience the rebuilding. Okay, this reading is coming across far heavier than I originally had wanted it to. Next, hopes and fears. <clears throat> Clearly stated, in whatever situation you're in, you're wanting the... You're wanting to rebuild, rebuild the happiness maybe you once had. Some of you are uh, rebuilding a satisfying foundation for yourself, especially if you've lost a job, if you've lost a family member. Your hope is 
to keep the family together, keep stability, keep harmony uh, together, together, strong and stable. And what we have here for the outcome is six of pentacles. So I do see that during this period of time, if this is your personal experience, you're going to find out at the very end of this period that there is a sense of stability, give and take, harmony. The family feels like it's pulling together. It feels like uh, we've got helping hands all around us. If this is within a business, again, I think I see in the breakdown of the situation and the rebuilding of something more satisfactory, the Six of Pentacles says that the helping hands will be there. The people you work with, even the people you work for. If they're changing hands, it should be a nice flow, a good stability. You've got a lot of scenarios here, Virgo. One on an incredibly deep level, personally. And the other one, for some of you, it feels like you're picking up the pieces of a lost career. If this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon and rising if this was your sun sign. Because there may be something else in one of your other signs that uh, can give you more answers. Now, what do we need clarification on? Let's first look at the disappointment with the Ten of Swords. What is the ending there with the Ten of Swords? The Queen of Swords, ah, this could be someone who has undergone a surgery and it looks like it's a primary focus. Um, if that, if you're dealing with someone who is ill, otherwise it's uh, maintaining stability during an incredibly, uh, a mentally unstable time. Justice is here. Justice is here. Why is justice here? Justice can be anything. It can be a sense of stability again. A lot of this is about stability. We've got justice here twice. If you're tied up in something legal, connected to this passing, wherever it is in your life, I think this is saying that the clarity is there, the uh, cutting away of unnecessary is there. It feels though that at the end of the day, feeling stable and having clarity is probably the utmost important thing because we know that ten reduces back to the one to the ace, the brand new way of looking at things and thinking of things. What's going on here is your focus point is very much about clarity. It's all over the place. Uh, I want to see what the death card is really all about. For the majority of Virgos, what is the death card referring to for the majority of you it, it could be a business situation it could also be an aging parent i'm getting a message if this is an aging parent this aging parent has been suffering with this for a very long time and it was when it has gone undetected and that's what the transformation is about some of these people may actually have a more youthful a youthful demeanor after this situation is revealed. But for someone, this stubborn old man, someone's father, someone's grandfather, has been hiding the fact 
that they've got, had diabetes for years and they've never been treated and they've never had it. They just never wanted to do anything about it. They wanted to ignore it and it would go away. And so now we're facing that situation. But I do feel for some of you, this person is actually going to take on quite a youthful demeanor once the thing is revealed and, and, he, and treated. So for some of you, this is a rejuvenation. It may not even be a passing on at all. For some of you, it's the rejuvenation of the individual. Once this ailment is taken a hold of and controlled, once it's revealed, there's a new life there for someone. This is really nice. For whoever is struggling with something that's been left in the dark, uh, a sickness, an ailment, uh, whatever it is, I'm hearing headaches, I'm hearing blood pressure, uh, diabetes for sure for some people. Once this is unveiled, it will be treated. It will be treated. Here's our healer, and he's wonderful. And you, as a caregiver, Okay, now uh, let's take a look at the tower. Why is the tower here? What, oh, what's this? The ending with the tower. Too many. Too many, too many, too many, too many. Okay, let's try this again. Clarifier for the tower, please. Why is the tower here? I'm going to get four anyway. Okay. In the environment, the sending. For some of you, it's regarding your money. For someone, it could be with the devil card. Connected to a fellow Capricorn, or it could be somebody who has maybe shown some reckless behavior with money. Or the ending is possibly due to someone's alcoholism. The ending, even though you knew this person might be, uh, might have been struggling with addiction. I'm getting now that someone was struggling with addiction here. Uh, heroin addiction. Thank you, Spirit. So we've got heroin addiction. Here's the heroin addiction card. If, if I had to look at this card, this is a guy who's carrying 10 needles, used up needles. This is a burden for someone who is dealing with an addiction. It's robbing them of their family foundation. And the ending for someone is about looking at the family finances during the struggle. I've got another scenario for someone who's experiencing, who is experiencing a loss because of this person's Possible addiction. We're having to take a serious look at our finances, at what we have, at what we um, have earned, and what we're growing here, and wondering if it's going to sustain us if something happens to this person. Is this person the breadwinner? Is the breadwinner tied up in some abusive behavior. And that's what this ending is all about. Have you recently ex experienced a overdose or a near overdose? And now you're finding out that the family money has been abused. There is a real examination here going on over the finances and over what you're going to be left with. 
And I think for a majority of you, you are going to figure out a way to maintain, to maintain some sort of security while you're dealing with someone who is under the influence or you're dealing with someone who carelessly overdosed on a, I want to say, a, a, probably a really harmful drug, something that was a drudge on their life, pills, opioids, like I said, heroin, whatever the, the, the drug of choice is these days, around, uh, among fat, useless old white men. They're taking a lot of opioids, a lot of painkillers, and they are carelessly swallowing a whole lot of crap that they're being told is easing their pain. And what it's doing is it's setting them up for death. This is a message for someone who's got a loved one addicted to opioid painkillers. And for whoever this is, whether it's you, Virgo, or a loved one, there's some upsetting. There is, is something in your environment that's going to be upsetting. But I think at the end of the day, the foundation remains secure. I think the helping hands of the family will be there while we deal with this. And I do think at the very, very foundation once the situation is really examined carefully, you will probably find out there is a way to make life a lot more balanced once the situation is dealt with.